as the Zian army withdraws from the Donbass region. A decisive battle concerning the direction of the global strategy is about to begin. Under this background, the price of gold has risen again, with a trend of breaking through $2,000 per ounce. So, will this decisive battle spur the price of gold to another all-time high? What role did gold play in the russian ukrainian conflict? In the Russian Central Bank's foreign exchange reserves, gold accounts for 22 percent, worth 132 billion U.S. dollars. These gold bars are reserved in several cities in Russia. Among the Russian Central Bank's reserves, gold share ranks second, only behind the euro. By the way, its dollar reserves are only 11 percent. By contrast, gold accounts for 17 percent of Chinese central bank reserves, 60% of German, 10% of French, and only 6% of American. Therefore, it can be seen how deeply the Russian central bank trusts and rely on gold. After the conflict between Russia and Ukraine outbroke, the United States launched comprehensive sanctions against Russia. The United States first kicked most Russian banks out of SWIFT and then U.S. Treasury Department further initiate secondary sanctions on Russia's 132 USD worth of gold transactions. U.S. Senator Angus King of Maine said Russia's vast gold reserves are one of the few remaining assets that Putin can use to prevent a further downtime in his own economic and by sanctioning these reserves, we will further remove Russia from the global economic and make it harder for Putin's increasingly expensive military operations. On March 8, London Bullion Market Association MCNE in the United States simultaneously announced that the suspension of the qualifications of all Russian gold semiconductors and the revocation of licenses to prevent Russian gold bars from being traded in the two largest markets in the world. At the same time, all persons and companies are prohibited from participating in the transaction process with Russian gold, including transportation. This is a specific sanctions bill targeting Russian gold transactions. After sanctioning Russia's gold trading, the price of gold reached 2070.42 an ounce on March 8, second highest of all time, and then began to fall back to a relatively low 1892 an ounce. However, it did not stop Russia from attacking Ukraine with these sanctions and then the price of gold rose to near 2000 again with the development of the russian ukrainian war gold is still acting as a safe haven russia did not blindly rely on gold to support the world the rebound of the ruble did not depend on gold as well the real impact on the world is crude oil. Crude oil is called liquid gold. Most of Russia's income comes from selling oil and gas. Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that those unfriendly countries need to use ruble as payments for buying oil and gas, making the ruble exchange rate appreciate sharply. Ruble exchange rate basically returning to the level before the world, letting US and European governments dump funded. For Russia, it must take down the Donbass region, making the Donbass region linked it with Crimea. This is Russia's demands and will be end of war. Gold and crude oil will become powerful tools for Russia to fight against the sanctions of the United States and the West. Gold and oil are also 
the Achilles heel of the West sanctions against Russia. In this decisive battle, both sides will show their final strength and the opportunity for gold and oil to rise can be expected.